Your pets are part of your family, so when you buy something like flea and tick medication, you assume it's safe and will work. But thousands of pet owners are now calling into question a popular product after their pets suffer tremors, seizures, and even death. On your side, reporter Paul Kiska has the story. My heart is breaking right now. It's uncomfortable to watch. Dogs in pain, their owners feeling at fault. That's what he keeps doing. Something meant to protect might be causing dangerous, sometimes deadly reactions in thousands of pets, leaving many asking why. He would like reach around and like bite at himself. He was scratching himself, wouldn't stop it. Signs of flea or tick bites. But Amy Vasquez says instead her dog, Mac, was having a bad reaction to a medication, the kind that's supposed to protect dogs from pests. This one had a nice package on it, and I thought, well, you know, it's the most expensive one here. It's probably pretty good. Amy bought Century Pro XFC, a spot-on flea and tick product that's applied directly to the pet's skin. She says she followed the directions. You kind of spread the fur, and you just put it on about halfway down the back. Hours later... He was jumping around like something was poking at him and just could not sit still. I'm wondering what is wrong with this dog. Then she saw it. It looked like the worst sunburn you'd have ever seen. And it was obvious that was exactly where I had applied it. Gave him a bath, washed it off, worked till he got dry. Then it came back, scratching, scratching, scratching. And this went on and on. We gave him another bath. Multiple baths later, Max still wasn't getting better. Amy says she went online searching for answers and found hundreds of posts complaining about the same problems. And the other dogs had it worse. Vomiting, seizures, burning and open wounds. Just some of the side effects dog owners say spot on flea and tick medication caused. I know, baby. And we received videos and emails from dog owners across the country describing the horror of watching our loved ones suffer, saying it was like watching them die. Many spot-on products use pesticides as the main active ingredient to kill pests like fleas and ticks. They're regulated by the Environmental Protection Agency. Now the EPA is taking a closer look at what it calls a large and growing number of cases involving all spot-on products and reports of tremor, seizures, even death. According to the EPA's records, more than 24,000 incidents were reported in 2008 related to all spot-on flea and tick products, including more than 250 major cases and nearly 350 deaths in just one year. And the most complaints were against Sargent's, the maker of Century Pro XFC. The product, Amy says, caused her dog's side effects. Sargent's received more than 10,000 complaints of the reports collected by the EPA. That's more than three times reported against any other company that makes flea and tick products, according to the EPA's records. I would really like to see the ones that cause the most side effects pulled. Dr. Diane Pastor says it's common to see pesticides used in flea and tick medications. Anything that you're going to use that's going to kill these little guys has to be called a pesticide. But Pastor says the real problem might be the kind of pesticides being used. She tells her patients who only use flea and tick medications based on their vet's recommendations. I think that the ones that you can get from your vet are a little bit safer. I think they're more effective. According to the EPA's records, products sold by vets received very few complaints. In a statement, Sargent says it's, quote, not taking their products off store shelves because more than 99% of the millions of doses sold have provided pets and their owners with extremely effective protection from fleas and ticks and with no adverse reactions. Not the reaction this pet owner wanted. I'd like it to be banned, period, forever. Taken off the shelves, not sold anymore. On your side, I'm Paul Kiska, News Channel 5. The EPA tells us it's recommending manufacturers change labels, the registration process, and consumer outreach. And it's developing more stringent testing and evaluation requirements for both existing and new products. For information on what to do if your pet is having reactions to these treatments, log on to Newsnet5.com.